In this video, I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the different functionalities of autofocusing that you have available to you as a video creator on the Sony a7S III. I'm brand new to the Sony a7S III. I thought it would be fun to explore the functionality of the focus system together. If I get something wrong, please let me know in the comments down below, but I'll do my best to give you my personal experience, how I've been using all of these different autofocusing things for my video endeavors. I'm gonna try and do most of this video, as you see recorded right here, recording my monitor, but some things like video eye focus, it's easier to showcase the actual monitor on the camera. So when I get to that point, I'll just show you. Right now we're in wide, and as you can see, uh, this is the Sony a7S III. It does an amazing job at keeping focus, even in wide modes, just like Sony. So good, let's move on up. Zones are pretty self-explanatory. Anywhere in this box, it's gonna focus on. So if I take my head out of the zone, look at that. But if I put my hand there, oh look, take it out, put it back in. In order to move the zone, it's really easy to do with the Joey stick. You have one click up or you could go one click down. I have a total of, what would that be? Nine different spots that I could focus to. It's gonna focus on the light does not focus on my head, does not focusing on my head, put my hand over there, it focuses it to all that stuff. If you ever wanna to reset to the middle spot, just double tap the Joey stick. Let's move on to the next one, which is center fix. It just focuses on what's the center. Get out of the way, oh, it focuses. Put back in the middle. Look at how quick it focuses back to me, that's crazy. Burr, bah, burr, bah, burr. <laughs> You have to have the thing in the center if you wanna focus on it. That's pretty self-explanatory. Let's move on. Spot focusing is probably the one that I use the most. And this is before I started using the Sony a7S III. I might be inclined to be in wide mode more often now, but with my Sony a7 III, if I was in a sitting situation like this or with an interview, I would always just go with a large spot focus. But as you can see, I can move it all the way around the frame like this. Right here, I have a medium square. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. Get my hand, boom, bop, boom, bop. It's small, so you can see that it's really small. And expand spot. It's going to prioritize this, and then if it can't find something in there, it's gonna go to the outside. It's like, oh, I can see it coming. I can see it coming, I gotta focus on it. Oh. And let me take you inside the menu system of the a7S III so you can see the different options in the autofocusing modes in the menu. Focus mode, so continuous AF or manual. This is completely dependent on you twisting the ring to focus how you want it to. Autofocus transition speed, this is really fast. And then let me show you the difference in slow. That is so slow. What? What? The next one is AF subject shift sensitivity. According to Sony's website, this sets the sensitivity with which the focus switches to another subject when the original subject leaves the focus area. Maybe I'll put up another Sony camera and I'm gonna leave the area. Say I come back in and let's make it more responsive and see what we get here. Go back to recording. I am in wide mode. Oh, there's a person in frame. Nope, there's a camera. Oh, there's a person in frame. Oh, in camera. So there's definitely a difference in the responsiveness when you uh, adjust those parameters. Focus area wide. So this is exactly what we already went over. Focus area limit. Let's turn off expandable spot, go to okay. Now, if I bring up my menu, let's see if expandable spot is still there. It is not. So you can get rid of it in the menu if you do that. Focus area color. Ooh, we do red. Boom, it's red. That's cool. Circulate of focus point. Oh, it goes, I like that. So instead of stopping on one edge of the frame, now I can move it to different parts of the frame. Is that fun? Is that fun for you, viewer? <laughs> AF frame movement, the focusing frame moves over greater distance at time than with standard. Okay, so this is me holding down the joystick. I bet that's really fun for you. And then let's switch it back to standard and see how fast that was. Maybe it's slower. 
I don't know. Let's move on. Okay, so face IF priority in autofocus. Yes, gonna click on my face. There's that eye tracking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eye tracking. Take my glasses off. Close my eyes. Do this. Like, whoa. And it's back. It's like, whoa, you're right here. Put it in front. Like, it's like trying to find it below. The further it gets back, it still keeps track of my eye. I turn over like this. What? Back in my head, what? Let's say I wanted to track maybe this thing over there. It's, now it's gonna track that and it will not track my face. Let's switch my zone to center fix. Now if I have IAF on and I get out of the center, the camera is telling you that, hey, I know there's a face in frame, but I wanna focus on the center. So it's going to focus on the center even though it knows that my face is right here and I bring my face back in and it focuses. So that's kind of how face tracking works when you're using a zone and then you can always just tap on the person's face to follow them. Is this not working? Oh, we wanna turn it on. Spot focus. We are now in spot focus. If we're in spot focus, if I get out of the way. Yeah, now it's only going to be focusing on the center here and it won't focus on my face. I need to touch it again. So now let me cycle through this again. There we go, that's the one I want. Boop, now we're tracking. I didn't even know that you could cycle through these ones up here, but you can. Uh, you can face detect animals or humans. You can prioritize the right or left eye, face slash eye frame display, or you can prioritize your register faces. Moving on to focus assistant, focus magnifier. You move the Joey stick. This is if you were pulling manual focus, which is great. Click it once and whoa, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will click again and there we go. You can switch how long the focus stays magnified as well as the initial focus magnitude. We're doing autofocus things on this video. And peaking display, let's go ahead and turn peaking on just so you can see that. I'm gonna switch over to manual. This is focus peaking. So if I were to switch, you can see it go through. Whatever is in white is where the focus is. So as you can see, now I'm in focus not in focus, so on and so forth. That was with peaking high. If I do low, now it's a much thinner line. Let's do red. And as you can see, now it's red on the camera. So there's a not so quick, tried to make it as quick as possible run through of the different auto focusing slash manual focusing things for video on the Sony a7S III. Hopefully it gave you some insight as to how capable this camera is with the different autofocus modes available to you in video. I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. And if you wanna click on another video, do it. Click, 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 click.